Today we're going to talk rodeo fives. Once you have 360s, 540s down, landing and skiing switch, you have your backflips, you're used to those inverted rotations. This is going to be one of those tricks that almost everybody wants to learn. It's super stylish, you can make it really unique. Um, and it's, it's fairly simple. So pick a medium sized jump, not something so big that you're scared of it, but also you still need some air time. You, you know, you're basically doing a backflip with a 180, but a little bit off axis. So when you're coming into the jump, feet hip width apart, coming in in that, that athletic stance, you know, you can think of it two ways. You can either think of it setting with your upper body or setting with your lower body. So you can either think of popping up and then rolling. So it's similar like backwards rotation, like a backflip, but think of opening your shoulder, whichever way you're going to spin. So think of like rolling that shoulder and then pulling those feet in and same thing, like the pulling your feet in is what's going to give you that like quicker rotation. And then the rotation is going to come around pretty naturally. Like once you set that and bring your feet in, you're going to have enough rotation to get the five round. The big thing, and this is why I emphasize it on learning 180s and learning 540s, huge on rodeos because you're coming around from a flip. It's really easy to have your chest down and to be looking down at your feet. And when you do that, you know, all that weight comes down and you slam your hand, hands into the ground. So really think like once you're coming around and you see that landing to finish the trick, like really complete it. Think of like pulling that chest up, pulling that chest up, pushing those hips forward. And that's going to allow you to like really finish the trick and stomp instead of always like feeling like you're just kind of barely getting it around. The other way to think about it, and I think this is helpful for a lot of people, I think when I learned it, this is kind of how I thought of it, is you think of the, the axis your feet want to go in. So if you think of like popping and throwing your feet forward and up towards whichever shoulder you want to spin, so think of throwing those feet up and across and that same thing. So that's going to bring your shoulders and head back, but think of throwing those feet up and across in front of you and then you're going to you'll easily just come up, bring it around. Um, I find a couple grabs that make this easy and natural to like bring those knees in and everything is either safety grab, high safety, or just simple Japan. The same thing of like throwing those feet up in front of you and then bringing that Japan in or bringing a safety grab in is gonna help you naturally like, A, add some style because you got to grab, but remember to like bring those feet in and not just kind of like be long and lanky and wildcat.